Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Daily Value. I'm William Wallace, and today we're taking a look at urolithin A. That's a gut-derived compound that is now accumulating evidence for its ability to improve metrics of physical performance in young and active individuals. Urolithin A is a metabolite formed by gut bacteria when you consume foods rich in oligotannins. Oligotannins are a type of polyphenol called tannins. Foods rich in oligotannins include pomegranates, berries, like cranberries, and nuts. Oligotannins are converted into urolithin A through a series of steps involving gut bacteria. When foods rich in oligotannins are consumed, these compounds are hydrolyzed in the stomach or small intestine, releasing a compound called ellagic acid. In the colon, specific gut bacteria metabolize ellagic acid further. This process involves breaking down ellagic acid into smaller metabolites known as urolithins. These include the formation of urolithin D, urolithin C, and urolithin B before ultimately producing urolithin A as the final product. And although research is coming out supporting use cases for other urolithins, urolithin A is the most studied at the moment. Once formed, urolithin A is absorbed into the bloodstream where it exerts its effects. However, not everyone produces urolithin A efficiently, as this process does depend on the presence of specific gut bacteria, which can vary between individuals. For that reason, among others, urolithin A has been developed as a supplement for use where it has been pre-converted into its desired compound. Urolithin A stands out for its ability to activate mitochondrial autophagy, otherwise called mitophagy. Mitophagy is a process by which damaged or dysfunctional mitochondria are selectively degraded and replaced. This mechanism is necessary for maintaining energy efficiency, particularly in muscle tissue where mitochondria play a central role in things like endurance and recovery. Urolithin A's potential as a supplement stems from its ability to enhance mitochondrial function by increasing turnover of damaged organelles, reducing oxidative stress through activation of the NERF-2 antioxidant pathway, and reducing inflammatory markers, including C-reactive protein. Now, the question is, how does this translate to measurable outcomes in athletic performance? Well, a recent double-blind placebo-controlled study published in the ISSN journal looked at urolithin A's effect on 20 resistance-trained males over an eight-week period. The participants were divided into two groups, one consuming one gram of urolithin A daily split into two doses, or a placebo. All participants followed a standardized resistance training program, and here's what the data revealed. The urolithin A group exhibited increases in one repetition max for both the bench press and squat, and while these gains did not reach statistical significance, they suggest a trend toward improved strength. Maximum voluntary isometric contraction, a measure of peak force generation, improved significantly in the urolithin A group compared to the placebo. Repetitions to failure during bench press tests increase in the urolithin A group, a statistically significant improvement over the placebo. C-reactive protein levels decreased significantly in the urolithin A group, reflecting reduced systemic inflammation. Other markers of muscle breakdown also showed a downward trend, suggesting improved recovery post-exercise. The findings from the study, they are consistent with other research on urolithin A, Clinical trials in older adults have shown that urolithin A supplementation improves walking distance and enhances mitochondrial function, particularly in populations with declining muscle endurance. A 2022 meta-analysis highlighted urolithin A's ability to increase ATP production and muscle oxygenation, suggesting potential benefits for endurance athletes. This lines up with its documented mechanism and around mitochondrial health and function. Now, preclinical studies further emphasize urolithin A's role in muscle health. In animal models, urolithin A has been shown to delay the onset of age-related sarcopenia by preserving muscle fiber size and strength and enhance exercise capacity in rodents that were exposed to stress. These findings point to urolithin A's broader applicability from improving athletic performance to possibly mitigating muscle loss in aging or disease context. The proposed mechanisms through which urolithin A work include the upregulation of the pink Parkin pathway, which identifies and removes damaged mitochondria. This process restores mitochondrial function, leading to improved ATP production. Next, by activating the NERF-2 signaling pathway, urolithin A enhances the expression of enzymes 
like glutathione peroxidase and superoxide dismutase. These enzymes neutralize reactive oxygen species, protecting muscle cells from exercise-induced oxidative damage. Urolithin A reduces pro-inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein and interleukin-6, potentially by modulating the NF-kappa B signaling pathway. This helps limit chronic inflammation, which can impair recovery and muscle adaptation. Of course, we know that you don't want to eliminate inflammation post-exercise, but limiting what might be chronic inflammation is a different story. Urolithin A significantly reduced urinary 3-methylhistidine levels in the discussed study, suggesting lower rates of muscle protein breakdown. This finding indicates a favorable shift toward an anabolic state supporting muscle repair and growth. For resistance-trained athletes, the implications of urolithin A supplementation are becoming more clear. Enhanced mitochondrial function can translate to delayed fatigue and improved endurance. The potential for anabolic benefits, as suggested by reduced protein breakdown, could support lean muscle growth over time. However, it's important to note that while the gains in strength metrics were not statistically significant, the improvements in endurance and recovery make urolithin A particularly compelling for endurance athletes for those focused on high-volume training. Urolithin A represents an exciting frontier in sports nutrition by targeting mitochondrial health, reducing inflammation, and promoting a favorable anabolic environment. Urolithin A does have the potential to optimize performance and recovery in resistance-trained athletes. Now, as more research emerges, we'll gain a clear understanding of its applications across different populations and different training modalities. Thank you all for tuning in to Daily Value. If this episode sparked your curiosity, please share it with your friends and subscribe for more in-depth discussions. The more you support, the more time I can dedicate to improving the show. Until next time, keep exploring, stay mindful, and stay healthy. <laughs>